Hey, welcome to Love Flying. I just got back from an awesome trip yesterday. I did another angel flight. That's the volunteer network that connects pilots to people in need. And I flew to San Angelo, picked up a gentleman, flew him to Sugarland, which is in the Houston area, and then came home. It ended up being a really exciting flight. Uh, I didn't expect it to be. So on the way, to San Angelo, I ended up with a mechanical problem that I spent most of the flight trying to sort out. Within 15 minutes of taking off, I was working on this issue. Once I got to San Angelo, I picked up the passenger, put him in the back, flew at 17,000 over to Sugarland. We got up a little higher because it was a 90 minute flight and we started picking up ice and ended up in a layer of clouds so that we couldn't see and had to do a little bit of diverting to get away from a, a rain system that was developing on our path. And so that ended up being an exciting flight too. And then after I dropped him off, I headed back to Austin and on that flight ended up dodging storms and winding up 30 plus miles off my path. So it ended up being a uh, an unexpectedly interesting day. So come fly with me. Executive ground Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, picking up IFR to San Angelo. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, executive ground, stand by. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, clear to San Angelo Airport, as file, maintain 3000, expect 10000, 10 zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 127.22, squawk 7375. All right, San Angelo, as filed, 3,000 on takeoff, 10,000, zero minutes after departure, 12722 is our frequency, 7375 is our squawk, 5 Bravo Bravo. 5 Bravo Bravo, Ray Brock Frank. We have hotel at the ramp, ready to taxi. Malibu 715 Bravo Bravo, runway 13, taxi via Alpha. 13 via Alpha, 5 Bravo Bravo. I got an early start out of Austin Executive. Conditions were good at Executive, but I picked up my clearance anyway. And that just means I filed an IFR flight plan and used that instead of departing VFR or visually. The conditions near San Angelo were deteriorating about the time I took off, so I wanted to avoid having to do a pop-up IFR clearance halfway through the flight. Executive Tower Malibu, 715, Bravo, Bravo, holding short, 13, ready for release. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, Executive Tower, hold short, runway 13, for IFR release. Hold short, 13. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, amend departure frequency 119.0, turn left heading 350, runway 13, clear for takeoff. I'm in to 119, and can, can you give me the heading again, apologies. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, turn left heading 350, runway 13, clear for takeoff. 350, runway 13, clear for takeoff, 5, Bravo, Bravo. All right, let's go. Airspeed is alive. Everything is in the green. Oil pressure's a little high, so we'll watch that, but it looks like it's coming down now. Here coming up. Lima Bravo, holding short, 1-3, ready to depart. This is 537 Lima Bravo and Secretary Tower, hold short of runway 13. Hold short 13, 7 Lima Bravo. Malibu 5 Bravo Bravo, contact departure 119.0, have a good day. Departure Malibu 715 Bravo Bravo, just departed executive 1.4, climbing 3000. 715 Bravo Bravo, Austin departure, high dent, altimeter 299 9 I didn't do 999. 715 Bravo, Bravo, Raider contact to east of the Austin Executive Airport, climb and maintain 10,000. 10,000, 5 Bravo, Bravo. 
Delta 1586, tower 121.0, good day. 210, All right, good morning. going up to 10,000. Everything looks good here. In our cruise climb. Wait, this is a mess. Uh, you can't see what I'm working with here, but let's I'll unplug you for a sec. Ah, uh, there we go. My wires are getting all tangled up. All right, let's go to our cruise climb checklist. Shortly after takeoff, I noticed something was wrong with the nose gear indicator. The light was still on. Since I was in a climb and my speed was pretty low, I decided to drop the gear, all of the gear, and then retract it again and see if the light came off. All right, what's going on with my landing gear? Only the nose is green. Location 156 Mike Lima, two for three, heading 240. Good morning. Location 156 Mike Lima, Austin departure, radar contact. Good morning, climb and maintain 5,000. The 5,000, six Mike Lima. Six Mike Lima, Austin altimeters three, triple zero. Yep. So what I'm working out here is... Two, two, thanks for your help. Citation six Mike Lima, nose, clear, direct Bandia, Christian, clear, direct Nose gear light is on. Direct to guard for six Mike Lima. It sounds and feels like it's... Seven one five Bravo Bravo, traffic at two to three o'clock, four miles southwest bound, citation five for six. Bye, bravo, bravo. All right, so they're down below us. The camera might be picking them up somewhere off the wing. I felt fairly confident that it was an indication issue and that the gear wasn't actually down because I felt like I heard the gear come up and my air speeds were normal, which I would not expect if one of the landing gear was down. But I still played it safe and remained well below the maximum gear deployment speed, which is 165 knots indicated airspeed. All right, so we're going to have to get the nose gear checked out. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's the weight on wheel switch. Maybe not. So I see our Hobbs meter is running. Mike Lima, traffic uh, off of your right hand side. I pulled out the POH, which is the pilot's operating handbook, basically the handbook associated with the aircraft you're flying. And I spent some time reading the landing gear section, but I didn't find anything that spoke to my particular situation. I think we have a switch issue. I hope we have a switch issue. All right, let's see if we can find anything in the POH about wheel switch. So what I've been working through here is trying to figure out what's up with my nose gear. So uh, the left and right gear are stowed. The middle, it says, is not. I feel like I heard it come up. Um, my suspicion is that maybe the door isn't fully closed or something, but on the off chance that it is actually down, we're going to make sure that we don't go uh, any faster than 165 knots. So we're, we're 20 knots below the limit, so we're okay there. Um, I checked the POH. I don't see anything that speaks to why this would be happening. Lights seem to work when I do my enunciator test. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, but all three come on. So I, I don't know if you saw before, but I cycled it earlier during our climb briefly. Three green down and locked when I cycled it down. When I cycled it back up, still the nose gear wasn't Alaska Ford, uh, wasn't coming up according to this indicator. My level two, three, zero. Um, the other thing the POH two, said to check is something we know is working fine, the day-night switch, which dims all the lights, but that's not our problem. We have a light that's bright, not dim. Um, so I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna hang out and um, if uh, if we have any issues, if this causes us any issues, we'll uh, uh, we'll talk to ATC, let them know what's going on. But for now, I I think we're okay. I'm.
All right, pumping music into my headset. The, the weather we listened to told us to expect runway 18. So, all right, we're coming in from the east, so we're going to have to sort of, uh, my guess is they might put us on the RNAV, uh, although it looks clear, they may also give us the visual, which would be kind of nice, um, so I can have them try to take a look at my uh, nose gear, but we land 1-8. We're going to need to uh, probably fly a pattern to get in. Um, depending on where the tower is, hopefully that puts us in a, an easy place for them to see. So I'm going to ask them for maybe a, uh, to enter a downwind, a left downwind for 1-8 and take a look at us. And then we're going to Ranger. Malibu 5 Bravo Bravo request. Your 5 Bravo Bravo, request. I'd like to coordinate with Tower to get a look at my landing gear. I've got a uh, an indicator saying my nose gear stayed down. Want to see if they can put some binoculars on me before I uh, before I go gear down. Your 5 Bravo Bravo, Roger, you can expect that. Would you like to enter the pattern and do uh, one pass at least? Yes, sir. I, I believe if I set up a uh, uh, left downwind for uh, uh, for one eight, they should be able to see me pretty well. Five Bravo Bravo, Roger, you're clear, direct the field. Direct the field, Five Bravo Bravo. Five Bravo Bravo, defend up out stretch, maintain 4,300. Down to 4,300, Five Bravo Bravo. Okay, so we let uh, approach know that we want to uh, that we want to get binoculars on our uh, uh, we want to get some binoculars on our airplane. So. Yeah, we're going to basically come here and turn uh, turn north, which is what we were hoping for. So, as you you may have heard, uh, they're already coordinating with uh, uh, they're already coordinating with the tower to make sure somebody's got binoculars ready to, to help us out. So feel pretty good about getting an answer to whether our gear is actually down or it's just a door issue. Ooh, just barely beating the storm, and we need to get in and out. November 5, Bravo Bravo, match the field is 12 o'clock in one zero miles. Looking 5, Bravo Bravo. Field insight for 5, Bravo Bravo. 5 Bravo Bravo, you're clear for the visual approach running 1-8 and the tower is expecting at least one uh, lap in the pattern to check your uh, landing gear for you. Thank you for the help, sir. 5 Bravo Bravo. 5 Bravo Bravo, just verified. Clear for the visual approach running 1-8. Clear for the visual approach runway 1-8. 5 Bravo Bravo. 5 Bravo Bravo and contact Mathis Tower on 118.3. Over to tower. 5 Bravo Bravo. Mathis Tower, Malibu 715. Bravo Bravo. About 8 to the east, inbound. Visual 1-8. Going to do a lap for you in the pattern. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, Mathis Tower. You can fly south of the field and overfly taxiway Bravo to parallel uh, to the west of uh, runway 18. And then you can, I'll have you set up for one, uh, runway 18 after that. So going south, and then I'm going to be, I'm going to have runway 18 on my right, correct? Bye, Bravo, Bravo. Affirmative. Tower 5 Bravo Bravo, you want me to try to get directly over taxiway Bravo, is that the idea? Melvin 5 Bravo Bravo, you affirmative, that'll just give me the best view of the aircraft. Understood, sir. Uh, over Bravo, 5 Bravo Bravo. So, pattern altitude here is 29. Uh, Malibu 5, uh, Bravo, Bravo, I was passed that you had a gear uh, indication malfunction. It, exactly what's going on. You don't have three green? 
I have one green when they should all be up. My nose gear, it's telling me, is down, but I'm trying to figure out if it's just a door issue or if my gear is actually down. Roger. All right, tower's just under us. They should be looking for our gear now. Caliber 5, Bravo Bravo, can you descend? Descending. Malibu 5, Bravo Bravo, all gear appear up. Roger, thank you for checking. Would you like me to just turn this into a right base for 2-1? Another 5, Bravo, Bravo. You're, uh, you still want to land with your gear up? Uh, no, sir. You want me to do another pass and confirm they're coming down? Hey, firm. You can uh, enter a... Uh, you can just turn right to do the same thing over. Could you, could you just do a teardrop for me and come back the other way, actually? Yes, sir. Right teardrop coming back. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo. Your gear in, uh, should be down, correct? Uh, no, sir. They should be up. Okay, your gear, we're up that pass. Perfect. I'll drop them as soon as I finish my turn here. Tower gear down, show M3 down and locked inside the cockpit. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, Pierce 3 down right now. Yes, sir. Okay, I think I'm good. It sounds like I've got a door indicator issue, not an actual gear issue. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, you can uh, make a right turn to enter a right base for runway 21 to your discretion. Right turn for a right base for 215, Bravo, Bravo. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, base turn for runway 21, your discretion, runway 21, wind 190 of 5, clear land. Clear land, 21, 5, Bravo, Bravo. Three down, green and locked. Good, good, good. Prop full forward. Good. All right. Match the tower with 905, that's over Vega 8. Over 900. Five Delta Sierra, Mathis Tower, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway heading 18, five Delta Sierra. Once I felt confident that the gear was operating properly, I landed and picked up my passenger at the FBO. We loaded up quickly, picked up our clearance, and headed for Sugarland. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, hold short of runway 18. Hold short of 18, 5, Bravo, Bravo. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, cross runway 18 uh, to Foxtrot, text to park via Delta. Do you know where you're parking? 18, Foxtrot via Delta, going to Ranger. And Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, sorry for confusion. It's uh, cross runway 18 at Foxtrot, taxi to park via Bravo. Cross 18. Taxi to park via Bravo, hit a Deranger 5, Bravo, Bravo, thank you. No problem. All right, we're down, we're safe, gear's okay, nothing alarming. We're going to finish today's flight and then have somebody take a look at the gear door. I think it's just
it's hard for them to fly me back and forth. You know Chris? No, sir. Oh, you don't know Chris? Uh, He's the one that does all the angle flying. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm afraid I don't. I know Shireen. That's the only person I know. We have Bravo at Ranger ready to taxi. We're 715 Bravo Bravo, runway 18, taxi via Bravo, cross runway 27. 18 via Bravo 27, cross 275 Bravo Bravo. For this flight, we climbed up to 17,000 feet to cruise. About 30 minutes into the flight, we found ourselves in a cloud layer. The clouds just kept rising and rising and eventually came up to meet us. The ride was smooth, but we had two issues. First, we were picking up ice. And second, there was a rainy system ahead of us that we couldn't see because we were in the clouds. Tower Malibu, 715 Bravo Bravo, holding short, 18, ready for release. Malibu, 715 Bravo Bravo, Matt's Tower, runway 18, clear for takeoff. 18, clear for takeoff, 5 Bravo Bravo. All right, you good back there? Yes, sir, I'm ready. Yes, sir, perfect. A little nervous, but I'm okay. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry, I've never left one up there. Good. All right, our gear light is back to normal. I think we just have a switch issue. That's good. Yes, That's sir. Better than a gear issue. <laughs> you got that right. We don't want to be landing on a bunch of styrofoam. <laughs> no, sir. That foam that they spray down there? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. You know, one thing I learned doing training in this airplane is there has never been an injury or a death from a gear up landing in one of these. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, an intentional gear up landing. Of right. course, like a crash is different. Right. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. No. How fast do you go? We'll go a little over 200 miles an hour. Bravo, Bravo, Connect Departure. That's pretty fast. Over to Departure 5, Bravo, Bravo. Departure Malibu 715 Bravo Bravo just departed San Angelo runway heading 2.7 for 7,000. Over 715 Bravo Bravo, San Angelo departure, better contact. So I'm going to maintain 1 2000, turn left direct college station. 1 2000, left direct college station, 5 Bravo Bravo. There wasn't much showing up on our onboard radar, but I decided to play it safe anyway. ATC allowed us to deviate to the left to make sure we stayed well clear of the system that was developing ahead of us. After we passed the system, we got back on track for the Blue Bell 4 arrival. You may feel your ears pop. We're going to add about 2,000 uh, feet of cabin pressure over the next few minutes. Okay. But uh, it feels inside like we're only at 3,500 feet, so it should still be pretty easy to... I mean, we took off at 2,000 feet, so it should be pretty easy on your ears. Yeah, okay. Oh boy, look at that. Like a higher altitude. Yeah, that's pretty, ain't it? Five Bravo Bravo. Five Bravo Bravo, level one seven thousand. Five Bravo Bravo, use the center grail, timbers two nine or nine or nine or two nine or nine or nine or five Bravo Bravo. Southwest twelve zero two cross marks at one three thousand Austin altimeters three zero zero one. Picking up a little bit of ice on the left wing. You can probably see that. Not much, nothing that even needs to be cleared off, but. 
can move Keeping an eye on Romeo, it. Romeo, Delta, moderate precipitation, 11 o'clock and about 3 miles, 3 miles in diameter. Additional area of moderate precipitation, 12 to 1 o'clock and 1 zero miles, 5 miles in diameter. All right, thanks. Uh, we should be well above it. I don't really see anything out here, though. Roger. 220 going to be our final, or we're going to go to 23. Precipitation. Uh, one to two o'clock. You're not too cold back there, are you? Five no, miles, not at all. Okay. That's why we're long cruise, right? Smart. Oh, you're all right. Fine. I appreciate the ride. Yes, sir. November 5, Bravo, Bravo. 5, Bravo, Bravo. November 5, Bravo, Bravo. There's moderate precipitation, one o'clock, one five miles, five miles in diameter. We're stuck in a layer here, not picking up anything on radar, but wondering if you can swing us out a little bit left, because we can't see what we're heading into. And number five, Bravo, Bravo, Roger, turn uh, 10 degrees left for weather. 10 degrees left, five, Bravo, Bravo. Are you trying to get out of the clouds? No, there's He's some uh, weather well. over there that they're telling us about, so I just want to get out of clear of it. Since we can't see what we're flying into, just give us an extra wide berth. No five, Bravo, Bravo, one able, could to Bluebell. Direct Bluebell, one able, five, Bravo, Bravo. No five, Bravo, Bravo, cross Bluebell, I maintain 9,000. The, uh, well, you already have the conversation out there. All right, we'll go direct Bluebell when able and cross at 9,005, Bravo, Bravo. Houston 870, Sierra Bravo here, 4,000, direct to Castle. We're talking about the Hawk 4479 Romeo. We have our information, Papa, at book. 79 Romeo, Houston, thank you. Number zero Sierra Bravo descend to two thousand. Number seven nine Romeo, Kata Hook Tower, eighteen four, good day. Contact Hook Tower, four four seven nine Romeo. Thank you. The rest of the ride into Sugarland was a bit bumpy but otherwise uneventful. We flew the visual approach to runway 17 and then had a smooth landing. We're five bro bravo to the airport. Airport in sight, five bravo bravo. Bravo, clear visual approach 17, contact Sugarland Tower 1865. Cleared visual 17, over to Tower 5, Bravo, Bravo. Sugarland Tower, Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, visual 17. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, Sugarland uh, Tower, good morning. Wind, calm, runway 17, clear to land. 17, clear to land, 5, Bravo, Bravo. Number five, Bravo, Bravo, sir, parking. FBO. Number five, Bravo, Bravo, left at Alpha three, left at Alpha to the ramp. Alpha three, Alpha ramp. Five, Bravo, Bravo.
I filed IFR again for the final leg because the Houston area was expecting rain around the time I planned to depart. Just before takeoff, a small Cessna broke down and barely made it off the runway, so I spent a while waiting for Tower to get me in the air while they got emergency vehicles out to the aircraft. Fortunately, no one was hurt. It was just an engine issue before takeoff. Sugarland Ground, Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, calling for clearance to Austin Executive. Malibu 715, Bravo, Bravo, Sugarland Ground, you're clear to the Austin Executive Airport via the Industry One departure. Industry VOR, Biter 9 arrival, maintain 2000, expect 12000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 123.8. Squawk 4520. Bravo 5, Bravo, Bravo, runway 17, taxi via Mike, altimeter 2995. Altimeter 2995 and 17 via Mike 5, Bravo, Bravo. Ground set down by Echo Bravo is out of the uh, jet center over here with the clearance and information. King Air 791, Echo Bravo, Sugar Line Ground, runway 17, taxi via Mike. And I just joined up Mike at your 12 o'clock, we're at uh, rounds of the corner over there. Okay, Mike to 17, here we go. Hi, Bravo, Bravo, you're now following the King Air, he's on the southern side of the terminal ramp, you'll be number two. Following the King Air, Hi, Bravo, Bravo. One seven zero Juliet. Uh, also, I do have a, a disabled aircraft in the uh, runway safety area, left side, just north of the Kilo. I copy that. Yeah, we uh, saw a uh, 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 land along of a one seven zero Juliet. So, uh, another one just over the tree, lining them up. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, turn right heading 270, maintain 2000, runway 17, cleared for takeoff. Right 270, maintain 2000, clear for takeoff, 5, Bravo, Bravo. All right, there's our incident. Hopefully you get a good view of it. Airspeed is alive. Everything is green. 80. After I departed Sugarland, I spent most of the short hop over to Austin dodging storms that were brewing along the path. Although I was cleared directly to Austin Executive pretty early in the flight, it took an extra 25 minutes to get home because I had to fly more than 50 miles south of my direct route to avoid a big storm. Once I was past the storm system, it was smooth sailing back to executive. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, we're back to 9-0. Malibu 5, Bravo, Bravo, you're number 2 falling. Runway 1-3, clear to land. Traffic, Number 2, 1-3, clear to land, 5, Bravo, Bravo. Bravo. Four five seven eight number holding short of one three ready to go.
Give me the 700 Kilo Dell, I can the ground clean and final quest. Sound booth 5 Bravo Bravo, we're right on Echo, tax to parking via Alpha, remain this frequency. Right on Echo, parking via Alpha, this frequency 5 Bravo Bravo. Since that's 978 November, proceed on course, turn right on 1 3, clear to take off. Clear to take off, 1 5 November, thank you.